Welcome back guys, at this time I'm going to be showing you a tool and that it can pretty much do a lot of things in it like contact people, create CRMs, book people, register them, create events, sell products, all in one and if you're a WordPress user like I am, you can even embed the script in it and use it as well so this tool can be compared to involve dummy in my opinion and what is this tool called? this tool it's really simple and it's called formello if you want to buy formello all you gotta do is just go to AppSumo, look in the search bar for formello and then it pretty much will explain you what the deal comes with it what it has in it and what the tool does it they also have a, a lot of videos in their youtube channel that will actually help you out to build um the sites the way that you want um i'm not gonna lie to you the the forms they don't look as clear as this one or as neat as this one so that's something that i had uh, pointed out to the developers uh actually i just contact support and then they said that um they're open for uh, any suggestions they do have uh, some um payment in integrations too as they state on their um, plan like I said, you can always go to AppSumo, look for Formello, and then you will see what it has. This is one of the tools that you don't really want to miss it. And why am I telling you this? It's because I have another tool that's called Involve That Me. I actually have mentioned it before in the introduction. And let me show you um, a little a little difference between this. So this is a form from uh, uh, Formello. It's, it's a demo section. So this is how this form looks like it. You can always modify uh, and, and make the adjustments according to your needs. But um, this is what it is um, involved in me. It, it's neater, it's cleaner. And like I said, I have suggest them. They reply me back. And then they did say that, uh, like I said, that they're open for, for any suggestions that we might have it on on uh, online so they they didn't say oh you know what uh you can keep it to yourself or anything like that so they're they're actually pretty open to um to do it as you can see in here i asked them about uh the paypal integrations and they said that there is for now that you can uh just add the the paypal links and they will redirect uh, the forms but also full integration is coming and i said when is it coming they said it will be added in the next month. So, like I said, they didn't say anything wrong with it. That's I, and I love the fact that, that they didn't reply with anything nasty. The UI, in my opinion, it has to be updated because I'm so used to see tools in 2022 already that um, are already working uh, perfectly and they're doing everything possible to actually go in the action and fight with other ones that are out there because it's it's a big market and in like i said in my opinion once again the biggest competitor that uh formello will have with the ltd users with the previous ones it will be involved on me and there's also another one it's called power dio i think it's kind of similar but it's more for creating forms and it's not a as um i will say as attractive as involved than me all right so let's go to the main dashboard let's assume that you actually read all of this that you you watch vanessa's video and that you like what you see okay so the first thing you're actually going to have in the back dashboard it it you're going to have a lot of options there to build all right hold on let me go back i was actually just looking at this one so this is the main dashboard in the back after you buy the product you redeem the product this is where you're gonna have it, it like it's it's a lot of options they do have it let's take a look to the templates so here are the templates that they have it the images are great and i would love it if they will actually have the the image that they have it up here like built into the the forms that they're actually using it but it's more like like this one's down here it's more like unattractive ones i tried to build some of it and it, they were fine not as good as i would actually love to see it 
but they, they were fine. Like I said, you can always change and modify everything to, to what you need. But the first impression is always the the most important one. So that's what I went, when I saw this one, like this forms image, I bought the deal. And then uh, I decided to, to play around and to um, look for it. So in your account, if you want, actually want to make the payments, because I was having some issues out of the payments. So you can go into the payment section and in here you can create a new payment method, which is Stripe for now. And here is the little tricky part. What it says, title, you can put anything you want. What it says, terminal key. I mean, terminal code, that's a public key. When it says private key, it's the private key that Stripe will provide you. All right. I don't know if you guys find it out, but I, I just had to call support because it was kind of weird. I assumed that they were looking for a terminal code from like, uh, let's say, a credit card reader or something like that. And that's what I assume. But like I said, I'm not a big user. So that was one of the main things that I, that I had issue. Um, so let's get some of the the forms that if you actually want to see. It. So in my introduction, I said the contact us form, you can do it. So this is how they look. It will be better if it actually has everything in it. Like everything it's already designed for you. you that means that you don't have to add steps in it so he, here they have options they they have to in, in my opinion minimize somehow and make it everything uh, simpler for example like in here they, they should allow us to shrink this section if we don't want to use it or like to hide if we don't want to use it. i know that there's a previous button up here but you can always preview before the the full preview in here too and if you let us shrink this to the left or i mean to the top either or it will be a little better so don't take my my my, my opinion as as in a statement because they might have options coming up like the the paypal integration that they said that they have it but yeah this is how simple it is to use it and and you don't need any coding skills or anything in order to to make it work out so edit if you want to edit here are the the address if you want to add to it you can uh, add categories you can say when do you want the form to be active if you want to um redirect after they make a payment you can add it right here i will i will be saying a uh, paypal will be the, the most convenient way and in here if you want to add the payment method it has to be stripe like i add it and it will help you out with that all right so let's take a look to designs the same thing it will let you customize the the buttons the image notifications it will send the notifications it will notify what's coming in what's coming out of the site the calculator let's take a look to the calculator there you go show final calculation after submission so i'm assuming that this one will show you the total after that the form has been submitted okay the logic this is this is it's great i love the fact that they actually this mapping um section here so you can actually see how the system is going to work and you can always change and modify it's it's like it's like a funnel so you, you can actually say hide or go that's when i said that this form reminds me to um power.io it's because they do have a form that it does this it doesn't have this section but it does allow you to add conditional options into the the system okay and then all the way in the back you are obviously going to have the results of everything that's happening in your account you might see um a little spike here it's because i was using it responses the same thing it will pop it up oh no it didn't but like i said this is it if you like it thanks for watching if you actually want to get the tool please click on the link in my description you'll help me out to to make more videos like this have a good day Bye-bye.